Apple has brought that mail merge feature back into Pages. It's a word processing software, Microsoft's uh, Word's cousin. Uh, actually, Pages is the Word's cousin, Numbers is the Excel's cousin, Keynote is the PowerPoint's cousin. So we're going to take a look at how can we use the Pages and the Numbers to create a mail merge. Basically, creating a personalized documents, labels, letters, cards, and envelopes for multiple recipients. Let's take a look. So you, you open the Pages. Uh, I'm going to create a blank one just to show how it works. So you click on the document and you're going to see on the bottom, you're going to see an option called Mail Merge. So let's try to create a personalized document. I'm going to write, hi, okay, here is the name, uh, placeholder, it was nice seeing you last week at and here is the placeholder for the address. So let's see how do we personalize it. There are two ways to add the values to these placeholders. One is through your contacts, the other one is through the spreadsheets. I'm gonna click on the add merge field on the bottom. I'm gonna say add from spreadsheet, and then I'm going to select the data, which I already selected before, which I, which I already created. So these are the fields, I'm going to field add as fields. So now here's the data. Now what I'm going to do, I'm going to go to my document again, click on the name, then I'm going to say add merge field. I want the name to be here, so I'm going to put the name there. And then I want the address to be here, this is the I column. So I'm just going to go back, click on the address, the placeholder item, click on the add merge field, Click on the I and it's done. And uh, if you want to see mail merge, click here. If you want to see, here is the uh, preview of all those data. So here's my first uh, one, here's the second one, here's the third one. And once you're done, you click the merge button here. It's going to create another document with all these data inserted in those placeholders. So here you see, hi Jafar Ali, it was nice seeing you last week, whereas it was, this was the placeholder, and here's the second document, and here's the third document there. You can also create many other documents as well. So for example, let's create one more certificate. Click the document, click on the mail merge. Now I'm going to click on the Merge in here. Okay, choose my spreadsheet. And full name, I want it to be the name. I don't need other things. I don't need other things. I'm going to say, take a look at the preview. Here's the first one, the second one, the third one. I'm going to say, click close. Click on the merge. It's generating the four file. Right here, now I have three certificates with three different names, so I don't have to keep on typing individually. I can have them as many as, you, as I like. That is how you would create personalized multiple documents using mail merge in Pages. And it's also available in iPadOS. It's also available in iOS, so the features are very similar there. You can create something very similar in those uh, operating systems as well. Finally, it is nice to see the Apple has brought back this feature after a long time.